This is one of the most exciting things that's happening in New York for me. Uh, we have never been to Long Island City, and we've known Rhonda Feynman for a long time. A really long time. Yes. And we've met her at many times at trade shows, and she does beautiful handmade frames for collectors and museums. So this trip, we had a chance to come visit Rhonda, and I wanted her to tell you a little bit about her business, because I think it's just fascinating. So, these are some of the frames that we make. Uh, we specialize in antique reproduction. All of our frames are made out of carved wood. We do them exactly the way they were done hundreds of years ago. We use the same techniques of wood carving and gilding and finishing. Um, everything is handmade to order. And these are the frames. They're just gorgeous. Now, tell me typically, how does it work with a museum? Um, they call you up and say, I have a particular piece, I need a particular kind of frame. How does it work? It often works that way. There will be a painting that has probably been separated from its original frame at one time, or perhaps the original frame had some bad damage. So they might seek to replace a frame with something similar, or it had been poorly framed. So if it was poorly framed and they want to upgrade the frame or change the frame, we'll discuss the piece, we'll discuss the period, the intention of the artist, where the piece probably was in its original situation, and we'll work on designing a frame. And sometimes we'll design a frame straight from scratch based on historical reference, or they'll pick something that is existing in our line already. So now, Let's say you design it from scratch. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you show them a drawing and they come back? Do you make an actual little sample? How, how does that work? Uh, normally we'll work from drawings. Sometimes you have to make a sample. So we'll either make a corner sample or a piece to approve the ornamentation, the carving, the compo work, or something like that. And then we may perhaps make a finished sample of the type of antique that it's going to have. So it really depends on the situation. There's no set way that these things are done. Um, it, it's the needs of the institution. Uh, sometimes they have to present it to committee, in which case it has to be a little bit more of an intensive presentation. Other times not. Um, I have done museum jobs where somebody just sent me a catalog with a series of paintings marked off and said, propose frame designs for each one of these paintings. And a lot of these were worked out of samples that we already have. And I just sent them the samples, and they said, OK, we'll have this one on this painting and this one on this painting. So it, it just kind of depends on the need of the institution, and it's always done differently. And do you work primarily with, with museums in New York, or is it all over the country, all over the world? How does that work? It's mostly nationwide. We do a little bit of New York museums, but we tend also to work with a lot of small museums. And if a collector was interested in getting a frame, can they work directly with you, or are you primarily working with institutions? We work wholesale only. So we will work directly with a collector if they come in with their gallery, and we'll be working through the gallery to do their work, but we don't frame for individuals. Mm -hmm.